Barcelona DC. coming out in 16 languages now, which is something I never imagined. So it's all wonderful. I mean, it feels uh, unbelievable. Actually, two years ago, I didn't even know that international festivals existed or that you could sell your book <laughs> into other countries. I actually didn't even know it was possible. My father asked me to come spend a year back in Alaska with him, and I said no. And soon after that is when he killed himself. And so I felt really guilty. You know, I felt like if I had said yes to this trip, maybe my father would still be alive. So Sukhwan Island is the boy saying yes and, and spending the year with his father. And I didn't realize that when I was writing it. It wasn't until later, you know, I, it, it's all been unconscious. And then I find out later what the whole thing means, you know, what it's all about. Sukhwan Island is a place I've never seen. I've never been there. It's, uh, it's 50 miles away from Ketchikan where I grew up, where I have my first childhood memories. So I know the forest, I know the water, I know what it would look like but I've never been there. I wanted to move the story to a place I'd never seen so that the story could take its own shape and would be very uh, uh, paranoid and cohesive. Everything would connect and mean something uh, instead of just being the way it really is on some island that I've seen. So I moved it to a place I'd never seen. In the end, I really don't understand why at that moment when he had a pistol to his head, why did he decide, why didn't he decide not to do it? Why didn't he see that his life could become something else, could reshape and become some other thing? So I don't really understand, and, and I wish that it had been enough that we loved him. I, I wish that had been enough for him to stay, and, and, um, and so I don't really understand it. I mean, I, I understand how he was suffering, and that he wasn't thinking clearly, and, and all the pressures, the, the patterns in his life that had come together. I understand all those that make suicide possible, but they don't make it inevitable. It, he still could have chosen not to. Finally, I think we care about a book because the characters are there and the characters have problems. You know, the father is despairing, has problems, and the boy is having to take care of him. And, and that feels very wrong that the boy is having to take care of the father. And I think as readers, that's, that's what we identify with. But for me, in writing it, I focused mostly on the landscape. And it was through the landscape that I found who the characters were. For those 10 years that I was working on it, I was trying to understand my father and get closer to his despair and his suicide, trying to understand why it happened. Um, and I had to throw away everything from the first three or four years of writing because of that. It was too close emotionally. I'd write about the day we found out he died and everyone's running around crying and it's not something that you can read. So I had to throw all that away. And so what I kept in Sukhwan Island is actually at the end of the 10 year period and I wrote it very quickly. I, I wrote it, half of it, in 17 days sailing from California to Hawaii, my first trip sailing offshore. And I had a, my laptop uh, velcroed to my knees and I was going back and forth in the waves writing and, and it was this rush, you know, this very fast moment. So it, it took 10 years to figure out how to write about him but the book, what's kept there, it actually came very quickly. And I, and I was reading uh, novels by Cormac McCarthy and Faulkner when I was when I was doing it also so I was influenced by them. His book The Road is maybe more similar to Sukhwan Island but it actually didn't exist at that point because I wrote this a long time ago you know for 12 years I couldn't get it published um, uh, but yeah what I love about Cormac McCarthy is that he extends his landscapes to figurative landscapes so he, he'll write about mountains a mountain range but he says that their geology is not stone but fear. And it's that extension from the stone to the fear where the literal landscapes become figurative landscapes. And that to me is what's